Morgan Graves and welcome back to another great day. I'm so glad I got to see you this morning, so I hope you are ready for next our flashcards. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Ed the G, J, Al, O, K, S, Wer, Al, U, U. warming up. Here we go. What's up second grade and happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another great day of our new week. I am super proud of you and all the work that you do coming to our lessons every day to grow your brain. Of course we are going to kick it off with reading today and we're going to still be working with those smiling letter T's. But before we get there we of course have to do feed decoding where we're still going to visit our C and G sounds. We know that C and G can say a hard sound or a soft sound. So in our speed decoding set today, both the hard and soft sounds are all mixed in there. So it's going to be your job to look really closely. What's following? What letter is right behind C and G? That's going to tell you the hard or soft sound. Okay, here we go. What is this word? We have C O corn. Corn. What sound is C making? Corn. The hard sound because there's an O following C. Okay, next one. What do we got? A G and there's an E with E R. Hmm. Germ. Germ. What sound is G making? Germ. J, J, J. The soft sound because there's an E behind it. Okay, next one. What do we got? C with an E. Scent. Scent. Like a penny is one cent. What sound is C making? Scent. The soft sound because of this E. Awesome. Next one. Hmm. G. And there's an L. Glass. Glass. So what sound is G making? Glass. G, G, G. The hard sound because there's an L behind it. Okay. Next one. And last one. What is this word? G with an I. Hmm. Gist. Gist. What sound is G making? Gist. J, J, J. The soft sound because of this I is making the G soft. In second grade, when we say gist, that usually means someone's point they're trying to get across. If you're talking to someone and you say, you get my point or you get the gist, you're asking 
is they understand what you're talking about. The gist. Okay, awesome people. That was our warm up. Great job with C and G. So now let's check out our learning target for Tuesday. It says, I can choose the word with the silent K or W that best fits the sentence. So we've got two parts to our task today. Number one and most important, we're going to still work to be decoding all those silent letter teams, the ones that have K and W. That's first up. We're going to be working to decode. After we're decoding, we're going to keep going with the activity of choosing words to fit a sentence. Where we're going to be looking at a sentence, figuring out what situation, what it's talking about, and picking one of our decoding words that best fits the sentence. But before we can do any of that, we have to make sure we can decode accurately. So let's review K and W and how they're silent. Okay, awesome people. So first up from yesterday, we learned about K and K and. So when we find this pair together at the beginning of a word, which letter is silent? Which letter is silent? The K is silent. That means we do not say it sound. So what sound do we say? If we see K and N at the beginning of the word, the sound is N, N, because we only say the sound for N. That's the only letter that gets to say its name. So one more time. The K is silent before, right before, the N. That's our rule we know as a clue when we see K and N at the beginning of a word. Okay, let's see if we can decode these words with that knowledge. So what do you see? K and N at the beginning of a word says mmm, mmm. So the word is Knock, to knock on a door. Good job, over here. What do you see? K-N at the beginning of a word says, mm, mm. so the word is, new. New is the past tense of to know. I knew something in the past. Yesterday, I knew that. Okay, awesome people. So this was the first silent letter team that we learned about. And of course, yesterday we also met WR. When we see WR at the beginning of a word, which letter is silent? Which letter is silent? The W. We do not say the W sound because it's silent. It's just, it's just there to chill. But when we do see WR, what sound do we say? WR says, rrr, rrr. Just the sound for the R. That's the only one that gets to say it sound. Rrr, rrr. So again, W is silent before the R. Remember, they need to appear in this order. W, R at the beginning of a word for these silent letters to be true. Okay, can we test our knowledge again? What do we see right over here? At the beginning, W, R at the beginning of a word says what sound? R, R. So the word is wrong, wrong. To be wrong is the opposite of right, wrong. Good job, what about over here? We see 
right, which is what we're all doing. Okay, keep going. Now we have new. I knew something yesterday in the past. We saw this one before. Okay, two more. What about down here? Oh, look, we've got ED. That means it's another action that already happened. So can you decode the base word first? Just the verb. Knock, knock, and then ED says t, t. So the word is knocked. I knocked on the door. Or if you get knocked over, you fall over. Something hits you and you fall. Knocked in the past. Okay, very last one. All the way at the end. This word is wreck. A wreck. What happens maybe when you crash your car or you crash something you're riding on? It gets destroyed and ruined. A wreck. Okay, second grade. So it's super important that we always take our time to decode these words so we know what words we're working with and which one will best fit in the sentence, which is now what we're going to do. So each of these sentences has a missing word and can be completed with one of these pink ones. As we read the sentence, we need to think about what is the situation that's happening? What is this sentence about? And which word will complete and fit the best and make sense? So let's see. Could we come up here where it says today? Okay, I'm going to read it out loud and I want you to follow along. Today, I was riding my bike to my friend's house. I got into a bad bike blank. I got into a bad bike. Hmm. Okay, which one of these words has to do with something bad? Something bad. And if you're riding something, a bike, a bad something on a bike. A bad wreck, like you can get in a car wreck and an accident, the same as a bike. A bad bike wreck. Wreck. Okay, awesome people. That's just the first one. Let's see if we can match a few more. Can you come down here to where it says I? Are you there? Okay, let's complete this sentence. I blank, I was going too fast. Hmm. I blank, I was going too fast. So this is going to be something in the past. Since we have I was, that's a verb that's in the past. So we need another verb in the past. That means we've got wrapped, new, or knocked. Which word fits the best? I blank, I was going too fast. Hmm. I knew I was going too fast. That's something they realized and they understood. I knew I was going too fast. Okay, second grade. We're going to do one more together. So we're starting over here with our next sentence. When, when I came to a sharp curve, I turned the blank way. When I came to a sharp curve, I turned the blank way. Hmm. So it has to be something bad since this is about a wreck. I turned the what kind of way? A bad way, a wrong way, the wrong way, because it didn't turn out good. The wrong way. Okay, second grade. This is where we are gonna pause together. We got a nice, awesome start decoding and matching three words. Of course, you 
know that your task is now to complete page 93. You're going to finish matching your pink words to your sentences and finish page 93 completely on your own. When page 93 is done, then you are going to have two options of how you're going to show me your reading skills. Okay, super scholars, after page 93 is completed, you've got two options. One star in your video, you can read the silent pink words. So that means just the words on top in pink that we practice decoding together. So one star is just focusing on the pink words and trying to decode them the best you can. One star. Two stars, you're going to take a video of yourself reading the entire page. So read all the sentences on page 93. This entire situation with this bad bite crash. So two stars is you're going to read the whole page, which includes all our silent letter words. So you get two options that can read of how you want to share your awesome knowledge with me. Okay, so great start on all our KN and WR words. Let's get back to work, and I can't wait to see.